We have a couple of NFL games on Christmas, so let me present a betting pick on each of them. I'm Professor MJ from Quebec City in Canada, holder of a PhD in statistics and bookie crusher since 1999. My famous lobster bet of the week kept its perfect record last week. Indeed, my highest confidence play was under 47 points in the Browns vs Bengals game, which ended with a total of just 30 points on the board. So for the third straight week, the lobster bet cruised to an easy win. This week I am offering you the exact same investment opportunities. You have two options to gain access to this exclusive betting tip. Either a $25 investment that comes with a money-back guarantee, or a meager $17 investment without the guarantee. It's up to you to choose which option suits you best. Alright, let's get started with my NFL Christmas picks. The early afternoon game features the Chiefs traveling to Pittsburgh to face the Steelers. If forced to bet, I would go with the Steelers and the extra 3 points. But here's a disclaimer. I won't be betting this game except for the lucrative player proposition bets. When it comes to betting the spread, I feel much more confident about the second Christmas game that I'm going to discuss in a few minutes in this video. I'm worried about a few things. First, Pittsburgh's defense has not been as stingy in recent times. During the course of their first 11 games, they gave up an average of 16.9 points per game. That number has grown to 28.3 over the past 4 matches. Also, Russell Wilson has slowed down as well. After averaging 271 passing yards per game in his first 6 games, he has thrown for 168 on average during the 3 most recent games. Still, I've decided to back the Steelers plus 3 points. As you are all well aware, the Chiefs have won a lot of close games, and it won't be easy to come out of Pittsburgh with a win. So far this year, the Steelers are 5-1 at home versus just 5-4 on the road. They are playing much better football in front of their home fans. So, with very little confidence, I'm going to go with Pittsburgh plus 3, even though Patrick Mahomes has scored an average of 40 points in 3 career matchups against Pittsburgh. His ankle looked fine last week, but will it be okay once more with a short turnaround? We'll find out soon. The other NFL game on December 25th involves the Ravens heading to Houston. Right now, Baltimore is viewed as a 5.5 point favorite. You won't see very often the road team being such a big favorite when they've accumulated just one extra win compared to the home squad. But that's the case here, and I think there are good reasons for it. In fact, my official pick on this game is to grab the Ravens minus 5.5 points. Let me explain why. After starting the season with a solid 6-2 record, the Texans have been fading by posting a 3-4 record since week 9. If you focus only on games where they face teams with a winning record, Houston owns a disappointing 1-4 record. In other words, they feasted on weaker clubs while struggling to get the W over strong teams. Now, the bad news is that Baltimore clearly qualifies as a strong team. Also, Houston fans should be concerned about their team likely to be very one-dimensional in that matchup. The Ravens have the best run defense, whether you are looking at the rushing yards allowed per game or the yards per carry average. They are very stout. Meanwhile, even though Joe Mixon is an effective running back, how is he going to find holes? Houston's offensive line was not all that great to begin with, and now they lost right guard Shaq Mason last week. He seems very unlikely to suit up 
and the same could be said about center Juice Scruggs. The center of the offensive line was a big problem last week against the Chiefs, and I don't see things improving this week. Even CJ Stroud has not been very efficient of late. If you pay attention to his last six contests, he has thrown eight TD passes versus seven interceptions, which is an awful ratio. To make matters worse, he lost his good friend Tank Dell to a devastating knee injury last week. The team was already playing without Stefan Diggs, so now outside of Nico Collins, they don't have reliable guys. Granted, the Texans signed Deontay Johnson, but you cannot expect him to pick up the playbook on such short notice. He is not likely to be very involved in this week's game. On defense, Houston's secondary is getting banged up as well. Jimmy Ward and Jalen Petrie recently landed on IR. Even the motivation factor goes in Baltimore's favor. They are fighting against the Steelers for the AFC North crown, which is very important to get home field advantage in the first round. Meanwhile, the Texans have already locked up their division, and they appear set to finish with the number 4 seed. In other words, they are not desperate for a win, as opposed to Baltimore. So, for all of these reasons, my favorite pick on Christmas Day is Baltimore to beat the Texans by a margin of at least 6 points. Even though my lobster bet is not officially determined yet, you can still go ahead to secure your access to this valuable bet. Simply follow the links below and let's crush the bookies once more. I'm Professor MJ, thanks for watching!